Okay, we're going to be taking a look at these uh, Eclipse stamps that the post office put out. Uh, they were introduced on Tuesday, June the 20th, uh, 2017. And they're very unique in the fact that it uses thermochromic ink. Okay, and so the image will change. Uh, their first day issue ceremony uh, took place on the summer solstice at uh, 1.30 p.m. Mountain Time at the Museum of the University of Wyoming in Laramie. And uh, it's a first-of-a-kind forever stamp that transforms the uh, image that you see of the total eclipse into the moon. And it just uses the heat of your finger. Now I got these at the uh, Genoa Post Office on Tuesday. And this is the protective envelope that it that you can buy. They're 25 cents each for storing and preserving the stamps. So this is the uh, these are the stamps you get 16 to a page and you can tell by looking right away that they're just they're not the same that they you can see there see how they have like a raised surface when you turn to the light and they have a strange feel to them too on the back side it then shows the eclipse track and it gives the uh, times for various locations across the United States okay so the images you see on this stamp uh, were taken by retired NASA astrophysicist Fred Espinak of the total eclipse that was seen over Libya on March 29, 2006. Uh, he also took the picture of the moon that uh, you'll see that becomes visible. Uh, and also, Fred Esmanac was a 1976 graduate of the University of Toledo and has seen over 27, or has seen 27 total solar eclipses. Okay, so let's look at the transformation here. I'm going to put my thumb over it. And there you see the moon. Is that cool? And then uh, as the uh, as it cools down, it returns to the uh, total eclipse. And you can see it transforming back already. Okay, now we're going to use a heat gun and uh, just heat alone will cause them to turn. Now the reason I use that heat gun is because um, when I bought these, they were in the car. It was a warm day. When I got in there, I noticed that they all had changed like this. So then I held them up to the air conditioner vent and they quickly returned. So, um, but in any event, thermal chromatic inks are very vulnerable to UV light and you should be, and they should be kept out of direct sunlight as much as possible. And that's why they give you the uh, envelope to store them in. So, uh, if you want to preserve that special effect that you see. Um, so the Postal Service is offering that envelope for 25 cents each. And that's where you could store those.